again, everyone. It's John with SST. Today, we're going to spend a couple minutes talking about the very large increase in electricity rates over the past couple of quarters in the U.S. and how that's making a transition to LED curing from water-based or UV curing even more attractive. First, we'll take a look at the quarterly trends of those electricity rates and see the huge spike over the last couple of quarters that I mentioned. I'll take a look then by geography to see what might be more relevant for wherever you might be located. And then we'll look at a specific flexo press example by comparing traditional UV arc to conventional LED to SST LED curing technologies. And lastly, see what the financial impacts are and how it's shortening the payback period for investing in LED from the other technologies. This chart was put out by the U.S. Energy Information Association and shows the cost of electricity for the industrial sector that's relevant to printers uh, since 2002. As you can see, it was very stable around 6.85 cents per kilowatt hour from 2008 until the past two quarters, we had a very significant spike. We thought it might be worth noting for those of you in the New England and West Coast areas, that the prices in those regions are more than double the national average. To understand what this means to a printer, the electrical cost for a typical eight station by 17 inch wide press is shown here at the 6.85 cents prior cost. It includes the electricity cost for the UV curing system and the accompanying support systems, including exhaust, chilling systems, and incremental air conditioning costs. For this type of press running two shifts, the annual cost of electricity is $28,000 per year, plus an estimated $21,000 per year for parts and maintenance. Calculations for any type of a press or presses are available on request. In comparison, the cost of the conventional LED systems would have been around $28,000 per year, and for the SST LED technology, only $3,000 per year. The SST LED technology uses significantly less energy while delivering the same or better curing dosage and also eliminates the need for the additional systems for removing heat. These then are the respective numbers reflecting the 37% increase in cost at the new 9.24 cents per, per kilowatt hour level. For UV curing systems, this is a $10,000 increase per year with much less impact for those using LED. These numbers reflect the annual cost savings of each LED technology compared to traditional UV curing. At the new 9.42 cents per kilowatt hour rate, the SSC technology now saves $55,000 per year compared to UV and $31,000 compared to conventional LED systems. With these assumptions, we can now calculate a payback period if a press were to be retrofit from UV to LED. From a very conservative standpoint of only looking at the cost of electricity savings, conventional LED has gone from a 12-year payback period to 9 years. The SST LED technology has gone from a 4.9 year payback to a 3.6 year payback. Factoring in the cost savings from parts and maintenance, conventional LED goes from a 6 year payback now down to 5.1 years, and the SST LED technology goes from 2.7 all the way down to a 2.3 year payback. And finally, it's important to understand that once productivity gains are factored in, the payback period is as low as six months for investing in SST LED technology. I hope you found the information uh, relevant and useful. For additional information, please check out the website or YouTube channel anytime, or feel free to reach out to me. I'll be happy to work with you on a customized cost and use and payback model for your specific situation. Thank you and happy printing.